Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Limit Development and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an animation by simply pressing a button and it's going to set an array of images to go off in a sequence to make an animation. It's very very simple. So here on my desktop here I've got three images and it's basically a dancing chicken. He just bobs left to right and he has some freaking cool sunglasses on. So if I just go through the images here, we've got the first one, the second one, and the third one. So go back again. How cool is that guy? This makes me want to dance. So if we go straight away, open up Xcode, File, New Project. Make sure it's a view-based application for the iPhone. And I'll name this Animation. Nice and simple, and save it to your desktop so you know where it is. Okay, so let's drag it up here. We'll make it a little bit bigger so we can all see and drag this over so we can read the cast as far. So straight away we're going to drop down the resources and then we're going to highlight all of our images and simply drag them over to the resources. Copy the items in the destination folder so they save into your project so it's easier to find. So I'll show you here. We have chicken one, chicken two, and chicken free. Nice and simple. So if we go straight to the classes file and into the .h we're going to want to put our IB outlet. So we start by typing IB outlet there you go space UI image VU and we'll name our image view something simple like animation as that is basically what we're doing and it was semicolon and we go to Put in our IB action, so bracket, IB action, another bracket, and we name this start. That's nice and easy as well. Two dots, then we do the ID, sender, and then end that with our semicolon. So simply save that, and we go straight to the dot M. So we start by simply putting in the IB action button, so we do dash. IB action bracket and we called it start so SD is ART don't know why I'm spelling it for you but there you go two dots ID sender now we enter curly bracket enter now we type in the view name which is animation and there we go dot animation images space equals space that. space equals space bracket ns array space array with ooh, array with objects now this highlighted bit here we just simply press well get rid of the highlighted bit there two dots and then simply press enter now we, this is where we start now by putting the images in so if we do bracket ui image capital sorry ui image and get rid of my capital because I'm going a bit mad here image space image named and then this highlighted bit here we name our first image which was chicken mine is called chicken one dot tiff so we simply put the at symbol and then quotation mark chicken one and it's dot tiff if it's just the format the image is in, if it's PNG or JPEG or whatever, you just simply put whatever the format is in the end. And we end it with a quotation mark, bracket, and then a little comma, and we enter. We can simply just highlight all of this, copy it, and then paste it for how many times you have the or how many images you have. So I have three. So I paste it once more, so I have three here. And just simply change my and it's here from 2 and 3 so on the last image we want to put nil bracket and end it with a semicolon so it should look just like that now we're going to want to um, set the how many times you want to repeat the animation so we do bracket and we name it the, um, the view which we call animation sorry 
space set animation image um, not images it's repeat count and then in this highlighted bit here well I'm simply going to want it to repeat about three times that's nicer oh that's a you know it's a bit nice semicolon let me enter no we're going to want to do the how long the animation is going to go along for so it could be one second two second three seconds up to you so we put animation space oh no animation dot animation duration space equals uh, let's say two seconds so we put in two semicolon enter and we want the as soon as you press the button, we want the image to start animating, so we put the view, not view, sorry, animation, because that's obviously what we call the view, I don't know why I keep typing in view, space, start, animating, bracket, semicolon, enter, and we just hand up a whole lot of coding with one simple curly bracket, beautiful. So if we just save that, now we're going to want to go straight into the um, animation view controller dot nib and simply put in our in our um, image view and our button. I'll make it nice and simple so it's easy to understand and make it look really good. So if you just wait for um, interface builder to load up, see it jumping down there at the bottom. It's getting all a bit excited here because it's finally getting used for once. Here we go then, so it should be up, here we go. Right, so we put in our image view. That's a bit too big there. Let's get it to a nice decent size, which that will that'll do nicely there. And then we weren't going to want a round rec button. So for that, let's make it nice and centered. So it looks good. And we name it start. So then we go to our files owner, and we simply drag the start to obviously the start button, and the touch up inside, and the animation to the UI image view. Then simply save that and quit it, and you can go. Make sure it's in simulator, and you can go straight ahead to build and run. There should be no problems, but if there is, it's easy to um, justify them. But I, yeah, I've written the code out pretty perfect anyway, so there should be no problems. And as usual, no problems, so here we go. Let's see this chicken dance. When the iPhone simulator starts. Here we go, people, here we go. So we simply press start, and then we have our chicken dancing there. And as this well, it repeats itself three times because that's what we set it to. So we can simply edit that again. So for if you want the jury, well, the, the um, animation to never stop, just simply put repeat count to zero. And the duration, we can speed it up a bit. Let's do maybe one second. Save that, build and run. So you. you this time the um, image won't stop repeating, but it'll be now we have sped it up as well, so it'll be quite quick as well. So let's see this chicken groove. There we go. How cool is that guy? I want to high five that chicken. But that's um so that's simply how you create an animation. So any questions, just put them in the comments below. But apart from that, make sure you subscribe and also follow me on Twitter and Facebook and everything like that and um, yeah so the usual comment rate subscribe and I'll see you all next tutorial